Hey folks, this is the Yakyu Cosmopolitan. I went down to Meiji Jingu Stadium on Wednesday night to watch the Tokyo Yakult Swallows host the Hanshin Tigers. The Swallows clinched the 2022 Central League pennant over the weekend, so this game didn't really matter for them, but it was a crucial game for the Tigers in the midst of a heated playoff race with the Giants and Carp. Last week, it was raining almost every day in Tokyo, but the weather was absolutely perfect on this night, clear skies and a cool breeze. Attendance was around 30,000, and there's no more COVID protocol necessary to get into the stadium other than a simple temperature check. Taking the mound for the Swallows was rookie Yuta Ichikawa, and on the bump for the Tigers was sophomore Southpaw Masashi Ito. Shortstop Takuma Nakano led off the game with a home run, making it back-to-back -back games for him with a leadoff dinger. Later in the first inning, this was a fly ball hit by Yusuke Oyama that Patrick Kivlahan misplayed in the outfield. And check out this incredible catch by Yoshihiro Akahane. In the second inning, Munetaka Murakami got his first at-bat, and it's difficult to describe the atmosphere in the stadium whenever he's coming up. When I originally bought these tickets about three weeks ago, I thought this might be the day Murakami hits his MPB record-setting 61st home run of the season, but he fell into a bit of a slump lately, so I think everyone was just hoping he could pick up a couple of base hits. But he ended up flying out here. He struck out in his second at-bat and drew an intentional walk his third time up in the sixth. Ito was just lights out for the Tigers, especially in the early going as he was perfect through three innings, but Yakult did finally get to him in the sixth inning as Nobuyuki Okamura hit an RBI single to tie the game at one. But the Tigers retook the lead with two outs in the eighth inning as Fumihito Haraguchi drove in Kaidi Shimada with an RBI knock against Noboru Shimizu. Unfortunately for the home team, that proved to be the decisive blow as Suguru Iwazaki shut the door in the ninth which included another strikeout of Murakami. So it's a huge win for Hanshin, bringing them one step closer to the postseason. Despite the losing result for Yakult though, Swallow's home games are always super fun, especially with Tsubakuro's Kururimpa helmet challenge in the 6th inning and the theme song during the 7th inning stretch. After the game, my girlfriend won this Murakami clear folder on a roulette, which is a total steal for just 300 yen. Hope you enjoyed the vlog and best of luck to everyone in the last few games of the season.